time though. Hello guys, welcome to the channel Final Whistle, the channel that brings you the best of the best sporting analysis. If it's about sports, trust me, we talk about it here. Um, I'm your anchor for today. My name is Official Ola, and I'm in the house with uh, Ugo. My bro, my bro, it's nice being here with you guys. Ugo's an Arsenal fan, and uh, I feel he has been disappointed over the over the one or two weeks. But it's normal, that's football. Today, generally, we're going to be talking about Champions League. And uh, Champions League has well and truly give, given us a nice picture. It was a nice draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. draws were actually nice. Nice. The first leg of the Champions League. Exciting. This is what football is about. This is what the quarterfinal is about. This is Champions League. Yeah, it came to that level that we wanted it to be. Yes, as the name sounds, Champions League. Uh, we had an exciting fixture, and the, trust me, the fixture didn't disappoint. Uh, Barcelona went to pack the fans and won PSG three three goals to two. two yeah. Uh, Atlético Madrid won one at home, two goals to one. Two one, yeah. Arsenal drew at home, two two, two, two to Bayern and uh, Manchester City three all draw. Wow. Fixtures, yeah, nice fixtures. Yeah, yeah, Ugo, yeah. let's start from back at PSG. What are you expecting in the second leg? Um, again, it's going to be another exciting one for us. You know, as you saw the first leg go, uh, we're going to see goals again. Are you it has always been done? goals. You know, it's not done. No, 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 it's not done. Mind you, they've played, in the, they've met in the quarterfinals three times, and it has always been goals. This same manager, Enrique, was on the other side the last time that he collected a lot of goals. So. We're going to expect more goals and more goals. Mbappe is, was not in the last game, but hopefully he's going to turn up right now. We saw that where they lost 4-1. Baka lost 4-1 to your home, the last quarterfinals. You know, so we're expecting something of that nature. And I'm not, I'm not giving it outrightly to PSG. PSG, but I'm saying we're going to see wonderful game, wonderful play because of the caliber of players in both teams. You know, the likes of Yamal. Rafinha is in his top form right now. So we're going to, I'm, I'm expecting to see you know, wonderful football, wonderful football. But I won't lie to you. I am, I, I believe that PSG might do something. Do something. But now it's not a question of if you win the game, would you qualify? You get yeah. that is our fear. Okay, Hugo, uh, Mbappe will be coming to Spain. Yeah, to Camp Nou. You know, are, are we saying that uh, this will be a one-off thing, or will you like see him more? Next season, playing his trade in, 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 in Spain. It's going to be like homecoming for him. You know? It's going to be homecoming. This is his first time coming. In, like, from now, it is going to be his home. I believe Spain is going to be his home. He has to be now, guy. The guy has tried. He has played his trade enough in the Ligon. Ligon is not that special. It is like, because that the fifth league. If he really wants to be up there, and that caliber of uh, this thing. So he has to leave immediately. So quick one go. What's the score position going to be match? I'm looking at probably 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one in favor of... Obviously. PSG. PSG. If it is 2-1, I think that, that's a draw. It's a draw, yeah. They'll have to go to the penalties. Okay. Yes. So who will qualify for you? Ha! Ah, it's going to be a tough one. Okay. But I'm looking at experience. Experience-wise, PSG has more experienced players right now. Yes, uh, uh, Baka has five champions in the PSG has none. But I don't think it counts in this game because the caliber of players that won the Champions League for Baka are no longer there. This one's not just small, small boy. The Ayamal, 16 years, 17 years. Rafinha leads. This was, that's the... PSG is going to progress through. Okay. Do you, do you have a potential goal scorer? Mbappe has to be on that score sheet for me. It is just... The necessary thing to do, the right thing to do, so that he would show Madrid that he is ready to be his player. Yes, to be his player, you know. Okay, moving on to the next fixture, um, Atletico Madrid and Borussia Dortmund. We saw Atletico Madrid one at home, two one um, into into to, into the game. Yeah. Second leg. Hmm. We're going to Germany. What are your feelings? First, first and foremost, we know that um, Signa Iduna Park. That's the stadium of Borussia Dortmund. Dortmund. It is not a normal ground. That great yellow wall. The you know, it's just like coming to Anfield. The noise is there. So I'm expecting the fans to back their players 100. But again, um, the quality yeah. matters at this point in time. I feel like Atletico Madrid 
is a better side. As much as fans play a role in the game, quality of players matters most. So, Atletico Madrid has better quality of players. We have the likes of Antoine Griezmann. We have uh, even De Paul. That's the bodyguard. De Paul. <laughs> that's Messi's bodyguard. So we have to always, you know, we have they have good players. They have good players. So I'm seeing a tough fixture. Atletico is gonna do the needful, but Borussia is gonna prove. You know, they're gonna form a form of resistance, but I don't think the resistance is gonna be probably a one-zero because of the kind of uh, gameplay that would, they would have. Okay, we'll go well said. Away from this uh, Alex Madrid side, Sebastian Haller was on the score sheet in the last match. Yeah. But unfortunately for him and unfortunately for football lovers, he was injured going to the second leg. There are many talks about Jaren Sancho when he was in England. You know, they actually bought him from Dortmund where he had good uh, good uh, performances and everything. So Manchester, But that's not been all rosy for him in England. Mm -hmm. And he's back in Dortmund where he, he feel loved. Yeah. So on that left uh, side, him and Ian Martin, mm. the player loans from Chelsea, yeah. they're actually mounting that left side. side. Yeah. So, like, it's looking like the most dangerous player going into this game. Are you seeing him making any sort of impact in this game? Bear in mind that he actually tried in the first leg. You know, so what's, what's, what was your take on Jero Sancho so far in, in that one? Whether we like it or not, we've seen that um, Sancho, the quality that he showed in Manchester United is not obviously his real quality. There's obviously something wrong in Manchester United. This has it has been proven. We saw the likes of the great CR7 coming out to say this is not the way club you should be. I felt that that was one of the things that affected Sancho. He has that quality. He showed it before. They called him a YouTube player, and we are YouTube uh, analysts. So <laughs> we have to fight for our own in this point in time. This guy, Jordan Sancho, is not so bad. The way Manchester United fans are painting him, you know. I'm not saying he is so up there, but he's not down down that that level. Manchester United, they become a shadow of themselves, but they, they don't want to believe that. They want to put the blame on others. You know, some players, not to scapegoat some players. But I feel like Sancho is gonna prove he has he's already proven it already, you get. So he's gonna do the need for. Okay, well said Ugo. Uh uh what's your what's your what's your take on the scoreline? I'm I'm sorry. Let's go with the beginning. 1-0. It's really going to be a very slim one. So, slim one. So, Ugo believes Atletico Madrid will qualify and PSG will qualify. So, you know, if both of them qualify, they're actually facing each other. Each other, yeah. That would be a topic for another day. Yes. 